Three row crossovers and SUVs are among the most popular vehicles on the road today. So if you find yourself shopping for one, don't worry, you're not alone in wondering which one is best. And the good news is we're here to help. What's up folks, I'm Dave Underkoffler, Editor-in-Chief of Autolist.com, a sister company to CarGurus. Three row, six, seven, and eight passenger crossovers and SUVs are the vehicle of choice for countless families across the US who need a way to move kids, dogs, cargo, and gear, usually all at the same time. And because of this, the industry is stuffed with models from every brand on the market. So to help you sort through the winners and the losers, we've put together a list of the 10 best choices from mainstream, non-luxury brands. What's more, we've personally tested every model mentioned here, so we've got first-hand knowledge of what separates the good from the bad. But before we dive in, be sure to check out the section below this video where we've got a shortcut to each model mentioned, in case there's one in particular that you have your eye on. We've listed them here in order of our preference, so be sure to give the ones at the top of the list a serious look. Already own one of these vehicles mentioned? How do you like it? Tell us the good, the bad, and the ugly in the comments below. And before you go, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you can get alerts on all of our future videos. And with that, let's get started. Number one, the Kia Telluride and Hyundai Palisade. These are two of the most compelling three-row SUVs on the market today. Underneath their unique sheet metal, these two crossovers share a lot of parts, since Kia and Hyundai are sister companies. And the good news is they're both our top pick for anyone looking for a stylish, comfortable, and practical family crossover. On the outside, each of these models got a subtle but tasteful update for 2023, with redesigned grills, bumpers, and lighting designs. They also added new trims, the XRT for the Hyundai Palisade and the X-Pro for the Kia Telluride, that give these SUVs a dash of off-road styling. The refresh extended inside, too, with both of these models now sporting dual 12.3-inch screens with standard navigation, a standard onboard Wi-Fi hotspot, and either eight-passenger seating with a bench seat in the middle row or seating for seven with captain's chairs. And that third row of seats actually has room for real adults or growing teenagers, which not every three-row crossover can say. Under the hood, both the Telluride and Palisade are powered by a smooth 3.8-liter V6 engine that produces 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. This engine is paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Front-wheel drive is standard with optional all-wheel drive. Both vehicles can tow up to 5,500 pounds. The Kia and the Palisade also have similar price tags, and they're competitive within their segment ranging from about $37,000 for a base trim of either model to about $51,000 for a fully loaded Hyundai Palisade and about $54,000 for a loaded Kia Telluride. No matter what your budget though, this is a crossover that will impress. Number two, the Nissan Pathfinder. This model excels because it does everything well. It's spacious, useful, comfortable, and boldly stylish, all without breaking the bank. The Pathfinder starts with a solid 3.5 liter V6 engine that makes 284 horsepower. It's paired with a 9-speed automatic transmission and standard front-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive is optional. It also sports a 6,000-pound towing capacity. Inside, lower trims of the Pathfinder start with an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment setup, while higher-end trims get a 9-inch screen. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity is standard on all trims, with higher-end models getting the wireless version. There's also seating for eight on nearly all models, with a bench seat in the middle, or seven people with optional captain's chairs. What's more, you can move the second row of seats out of the way without collapsing them, a lifesaver for any parents like me who often have a car seat in that second row. Once you hit the road, the Pathfinder has you covered in terms of safety as it was awarded a Top Safety Pick Plus for 2023 by the IIHS. And for the off-roading fans in the group, Nissan offers the Rock Creek Edition. This comes standard with four-wheel drive, unique 18-inch alloy wheels and leather seats, and an off-road tuned suspension. When it comes to pricing, the Pathfinder starts at about $36,500 for a base two-wheel drive model and goes all the way up to $54,000 for a loaded four-wheel drive platinum version. Number three, the first ever Toyota Grand Highlander. All new for 2024, the Grand Highlander builds on its namesake, the Highlander, giving you more of everything that made that model so popular. It's also the newest model on our list. Under the hood, there are three powertrains to choose from. Base models get a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that makes 265 horsepower and can tow up to 5,000 pounds. It's paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission and standard front-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is optional. Then there's the hybrid model with a 245-horsepower four-cylinder engine and standard all-wheel drive. And finally, the hybrid max, which packs a turbocharged four-cylinder engine and an electric motor for 362 total horsepower and full-time all-wheel drive. 
Inside, the Grand Highlander offers plenty of space for everyone. The third row is spacious enough to comfortably seat adults, and the middle row comes standard with captain's chairs and seating for seven. A bench seat in the middle is optional if you need to seat eight. Plus, all Grand Highlander models come standard with a 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. There's also seven USB-C ports and 13 total cup holders, making even the longest drives bearable for everyone inside. Safety is handled by a full suite of active tech, including pre-collision alerts and braking, full-speed radar cruise control, and lane keep assist. But probably our favorite part about the Grand Highlander is that its price is, well, not so grand. This model starts at just $44,400, including destination, for the base turbo engine and front wheel drive, which is a great deal considering everything you get for that money. Number four, the Honda Pilot. Honda completely redesigned the Pilot for 2023, giving it a more rugged truck-like appearance compared to the 2022 model, and it upgraded the off-road oriented trail sport trim for even more capabilities. All Pilots come with a single engine, a 3.5 liter V6 that now makes 285 horsepower, a five horsepower increase over the previous year. The transmission has also been upgraded to a new 10-speed automatic gearbox. Front wheel drive is standard on most models with all wheel drive coming as an option. One trim where all wheel drive is standard is a revised Trail Sport model. This go anywhere version features a revised suspension with a one inch lift, steel skid plates, all terrain tires, hill descent control, and a specially tuned all wheel drive system with a trail driving mode. As for safety, Honda equips all pilot models with a comprehensive suite of driver assistance that it calls Honda Sensing. This includes automated emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, and automatic high beams. Inside, the 2023 Pilot can be set up for seven or eight passengers. There are bench seats and room for eight on lower trims, while the EXL trim can be had with optional second row captain's chairs for room for seven. That setup is standard on the Trail Sport. Plus, the Touring and Elite models come with a handy second row seat design where the middle seat portion can be removed and stored under the floor in the cargo area when not needed. In terms of tech, lower trims get a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system with wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. EXL and above get a 9-inch screen with wireless connectivity. If all of this sounds good, budget about $37,600 for a base LX model with front-wheel drive, while a loaded Elite and its standard all-wheel drive stickers for a healthy $53,700. Number 5, the Mazda CX-90. Like the Toyota Grand Highlander, the CX-90 is all new to the market for 2024, as it replaces the CX-9 in Mazda's lineup. It brings with it an upscale design, a trio of engine choices, including a plug-in hybrid, and a host of appealing features. On the gas side of things, there are two versions to choose from, the Turbo and the Turbo S. They use the same powertrain, with the Turbo S getting different tuning for more power. Both versions use a turbocharged 3.3-liter inline six-cylinder engine and a 48-volt mild hybrid system, making a total of 280 horsepower in the Turbo and 340 horsepower in the Turbo S. Then there's our favorite choice, the plug-in hybrid, making it the only model offering a plug-in hybrid on our list today. This version uses an inline four-cylinder engine and an electric motor for 323 total horsepower and 26 miles of all-electric range. No matter which CX-90 you choose, they all come standard with an 8-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. Inside, the CX-90 really turns heads as Mazda has recently been trying to move the brand into a more premium space to compete against the likes of Acura, Genesis, and Lexus. That means that inside, you're treated to a host of upscale designs and materials. Lower-end trims get a 7-inch digital screen in the instrument panel and a 10.3-inch touchscreen infotainment system, while higher-end trims bump both of those screens up to 12.3 inches with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. The CX-90 will seat 6, 7, or 8 passengers, depending on the trim, with some offering captain's chairs in the middle row and some coming with a standard bench seat. In our testing of the CX-90, we found space to be comfy in the second row and reasonable in the third row for adults. In terms of safety, all CX-90s come standard with a suite of driver assistance features, including automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, radar cruise control with stop and go, rear cross traffic alerts, and lane keep assist. The CX-90 starting price is a very reasonable $41,000, including destination for a base turbo select model. The plug-in hybrid starts at just under $50,000, and it's probably the CX-90 we would choose ourselves. Finally, the Turbo S starts at $53,000 and can go all the way past 60 dollars an eye-watering sum considering what else you can get 
for that steep price tag. Number six, the Volkswagen Atlas. This stylish and spacious SUV is perfect for families and adventurers alike. And to keep it fresh, Volkswagen gave the 2024 model a handsome makeover and a nice set of standard goodies that will keep owners of all stripes happy and comfortable. On the outside, Volkswagen gave the Atlas a revised front end with a horizontal light bar running the width of the car, plus new wheel designs across the entire lineup and a refreshed rear end with a larger rear spoiler. There's also the Peak Edition, aimed at the adventurous set, which adds features like standard all-wheel drive, unique black 18-inch alloy wheels and all-terrain tires, additional exterior body cladding, and a panoramic moonroof. Under the hood of all Atlas models, VW dropped the older V6 engine and replaced it with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine that makes 269 horsepower and can still tow a healthy 5,000 pounds. This is paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission and standard front-wheel drive with all-wheel drive optional on all trims. Inside, all trim levels get goodies like a heated steering wheel, heated and ventilated front seats, a 12-inch infotainment screen paired with a 10.3-inch fully configurable digital instrument panel, and faux leather seats. Safety is covered by way of adaptive cruise control with stop-and-go, rear cross-traffic alerts, and pre-collision alerts and braking. When it comes to seating, one of the standout features of the Atlas is its spacious third row, which can comfortably accommodate adults. The Atlas can seat up to seven passengers, and with the second and third row seats folded, it transforms into a useful tool for hauling cargo. The 2024 Atlas starts at a reasonable $39,000 for a base SE front-wheel drive model, considering all of the features you get for that money. On the other end of the spectrum, the loaded SEL Premium R-Line version with standard all-wheel drive will run you roughly $54,000. Number seven is Jeep's Grand Cherokee L. This stylish and capable three-row SUV is based on the two-row Grand Cherokee, and like its shorter sibling, it can handle both city streets and off-road trails with ease. Its spacious cabin, comfortable ride, and host of convenience and luxury features make it a top choice. The Grand Cherokee L comes with either a 293 horsepower V6 or a 357 horsepower V8, one of the only models on this list to offer a V8. Both engines are paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. These stout engines also have a towing advantage as they're able to tow 6,200 pounds and 7,200 pounds respectively. Both rear-wheel drive or one of three all-wheel drive systems are available, and the Grand Cherokee L can also be equipped with an optional air suspension for extra ground clearance. This model comes standard with three rows of seats, offering space for up to seven people if you choose the optional second row bench seat. Otherwise, the standard captain's chairs in the middle row make this SUV a six-seater. The third row is spacious enough for adults, and the seats can be folded or moved out of the way for extra cargo space without collapsing the middle row. Good for those with car seats. Inside the Grand Cherokee L, mid and higher grade trims get truly impressive interiors with a larger 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system and a digital instrument panel. Some trims even offer open pour wood with quilted leather seats, a secondary interactive screen for the front passenger, and a 19-speaker Macintosh sound system. There's also a host of standard safety features, including adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and lane keep assist. All of this comes at a cost, however, as the Grand Cherokee L can be pricier than anything else on this list. A base Laredo with rear-wheel drive will run you a little over $43,000, while a fully loaded four-wheel drive Summit Reserve will set you back $73,000. Number eight, Subaru's Ascent. The big daddy of Subaru's lineup was refreshed in 2023 to keep the Ascent current with the rest of its impressive peers. But the things that make it great, rock-solid all-wheel drive chops, hearty reliability, and a strong value still carry over. The latest update brought with it a revised front end that's sleeker and more modern than before, plus a nice upgrade inside to a standard 11.6-inch touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto plus a Wi-Fi hotspot. Under the hood is a 260-horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine paired with a CVT gearbox, though not our favorite, and full-time all-wheel drive. The Ascent also has a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds, more than enough to pull your boat or smaller camper. If there's one thing Subarus are known for, it's their resilience in snow and bad weather, and this one delivers with higher-end trims offering Subarus dual-function X-Mode drive settings. The Subaru also packs a healthy amount of standard safety equipment wrapped into a package called EyeSight, which includes pre-collision braking and warnings, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, and adaptive cruise control. 
Like the rest of this group, the Ascent can seat seven or eight passengers, though we'd leave the smallish third row to the kids in your carpool. Captain chairs are available for the second row. But our favorite part about the Ascent is its pricing. A base model starts at just over $35,000, including destination, and remember, all-wheel drive is standard here. And that makes the Ascent one of the most affordable models on this entire list. Number nine, the Ford Explorer. This SUV practically invented this segment decades ago, and all these years later, it's still worth a look. We like it mainly for its choice of powertrains. Base and mid-grade trims get a 2.3-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that makes a stout 300 horsepower. Looking for more? There's a hybrid model, which uses a 3.3-liter V6 engine and an electric motor for 318 total horsepower. But if you're looking to really haul, check out the higher-end trims like the ST, King Ranch, or Platinum. They come with a twin-turbo V6 that makes a whopping 400 horsepower. No matter which version you choose, a 10-speed automatic transmission is standard, as is rear-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is optional, and the Explorer can tow up to 5,600 pounds. Inside, the Explorer offers a base 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. Higher-end trims swap in a vertically-oriented 10-inch display screen, an upgrade that we would recommend springing for. We also like that the second row seats move out of the way with a simple touch of a button, though we found that third row space to be a little tight for full-size adults, largely due to the high floor that puts your knees in your chest. For the adventure-minded set, Ford also offers the Explorer in the Timberline trim, which adds an upgraded suspension system, almost an inch of extra ground clearance, skid plates, some restyled exterior trim, unique alloy wheels, and beefier tires. In terms of safety, the Explorer comes with standard features like forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alerts, and lane departure warning and lane keep assist. When it comes to pricing, the Explorer starts on the lower end of the spectrum. A base model with rear wheel drive starts at a little more than $38,000, including destination, while a fully loaded King Ranch model will set you back about 55 grand. Rounding out our list at number 10 is the Chevy Traverse. The Traverse takes a page from Chevy's excellent and big Tahoe and Suburban SUVs by bringing to this segment heaps of space and functionality and doing it while offering a surprisingly quiet and comfortable ride. The Traverse doesn't get fancy, but it does get the job done. This starts with the powertrain, a straightforward 3.6 liter, 310 horsepower V6 engine, which is paired with a smooth nine-speed automatic transmission. Front wheel drive is standard and all wheel drive is optional, while towing is rated at 5,000 pounds. We like to traverse because all but the base LS trims come standard with captain's chairs in the middle row, making it a seven seater, though a bench seat is optional on higher trims. Also nice, the third row actually fits real adults and still leaves plenty of room for cargo behind them. The two lower trims come standard with a seven inch touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. The rest of the lineup upgrades slightly to an eight inch screen. The Traverse comes standard with Chevy Safety Assist, a suite of six advanced safety features that includes automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection and lane departure warning with lane keep assist. Unfortunately, though, other features like adaptive cruise control are only available on higher trims when many of the rivals we've already mentioned on this list offer those features as standard. The Traverse does pack a solid value, however. A base LS with front wheel drive starts at a cool $36,000, including destination, while a loaded high country model with all wheel drive starts at $55,500. All right, folks, there you have it. The top three row crossovers and SUVs currently on the market. What do you guys think? Is there anything missing from this list? Is there something on this list that shouldn't be? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, for reviews or listings of these vehicles or anything else you're shopping for, new or used, be sure to check out autolist.com. Thanks for watching.